What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna plumb up the grow beds to the sump and install the pump in the sump and run it to the fish tank. Let's get stuck into the video. Now when it comes to creating your sump tank from your IBC, you wanna take one of your used cages and you wanna disconnect the base from the cage by undoing these screws around the bottom of the perimeter. Once you've detached the cage from the base, you wanna take the angle grinder and cut it on the one, two, third bar up from the bottom all the way around the outside in order to make the cage for your sump tank. After that you want to grab your tote, place it inside the sump section of the cage and score around the perimeter. That then becomes the cutting line for the angle grinder. After we've cut it with the angle grinder, it's time to give it a good clean out with the hose. Once you've got it all cleaned out, you put your tote back inside the cage and your sump tank is made. Slide it underneath the grow beds and Bob's your uncle. Now that we've made the sump tank, it's time to plumb up the water outlets from the grow beds into the sump. In order to do that, I took some plumber's tape and threaded it around the male thread from the bulkhead fitting from the grow bed. After that, we take our threaded female adapter and screw it on. Once we've screwed it on, we take a 25 millimeter section of pipe and prime it with the solvent in order to create a tight seal with the glue. We then wanna take a 90 degree 25 millimeter elbow and attach it to the female adapter. From there we run a 25 millimeter section of PVC pipe from the elbow into the sump tank. Once it's inside the sump tank, we take another 25 millimeter 90 degree angle elbow and attach it to the end in order to direct the water flow down into the sump. Once we've got one done, it's time to go ahead and plumb up the rest. So now that we've plumbed up the grow beds to the sump, it's time to install the pump into the sump and plumb it to the fish tank. Let's get into it. Now the pump that I've decided to use in this aquaponic system is a Rio Hyperflow professional grade water pump, or at least that's what the packaging says. This is the 14 HF, which gives us 2,500 litres an hour and a head height of 10 feet or three meters. Now guys, when it comes to choosing a pump, you do want to make sure that at a bare minimum, it pumps the water through your system at least once every hour. Twice every hour would be even better, but make sure you don't go any lower than once per hour. This system behind me here has a thousand liter fish tank, but if we include the sump and the grow beds, we're looking at about a 1500 liter capacity. So this pump at 2,500 liters an hour is more than enough. I've decided to go with the 19 millimeter irrigation line to pump the water from the sump tank into the fish tank. Once we've run it up to the fish tank, I take a 90 degree angle elbow into a ball valve in order to regulate the flow from the pump into the fish tank. And then using 19 millimeter irrigation line, we then attach another 90 degree angle elbow in order to direct the water flow from the ball valve into the fish tank. I then went ahead and secured all the 19 millimeter irrigation line, the side of the grow beds and the fish tank with some zip ties to secure it all in place. If 
you're getting a lot out of this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Now that we've got everything plumbed up and the pump installed in the sump to the fish tank, it's time to fill it up with water and make sure it's all flowing correctly. Of course, I'm not gonna bore you with filming the entire process of filling it up with water, so once it's full, I'll come back and give you a look. And there you have it guys, in next week's video, we're gonna install the media into the grow beds. We're also gonna install the floating raft into the deep water culture and build a bell siphon in the flood and drain. Thanks again for checking in and we'll catch you in the next video.